Hey Jesus people, thanks for clicking on this video. This devotional talk came out of a conversation I was having with one of my disciples earlier this week um, and I wanted to just bring it up. Here's the question I wanna ask you all as you watch this. Um, what creates change? Um, in our lives as Christians, this topic of change, transformation should be a major goal, right? We are trying to become more like Jesus. We're trying to become mature and complete. We're trying to develop into the people God has called us to be to enter this destiny of Christ-likeness. But in the process, sometimes I think we can get confused about the source of our change or the source of our transformation. I want to present to you two ways that people believe change change happens, two, two uh, sources or routes of change that we believe in. One is true and one is false. The first is effort. A lot of people believe that change happens through our effort, right? Uh, it's kind of this idea that like you are supposed to learn the truth by reading the Bible, going to church, going to small group, um, through prayer. You're supposed to learn the truth. And then if you learn the truth, you are meant to try very, very hard and work extremely diligently and then you will change, right? It's like Jesus is this example to follow and if you work hard enough to do the kind of stuff that he did, then you will become like him. Often you see these kinds of Christians becoming extremely active. They're the kind of people that are always serving, right? They're in the nursery and they're at the soup kitchen and they're leading the Bible study in their home and they're doing this and that and the other thing. But sometimes you might see a lot of activity but little productivity. Sometimes you question if the fruits of the Spirit are really present in their life. They don't seem to have that joy or that peace or that patience, whatever. And you're like, oh my gosh, they're doing all this work. But like, are they really like Jesus? I know this what this is like because I have been a very laborious Christian. I've been one of those effort change Christians where I worked and worked and prayed and saw it was always at church and so forth, but it produced a very little change in my life. Trying to find change through effort is like trying to darken your skin without the sun. It's like you're, you're putting on sprays or creams or bronze washes or whatever, and there might be some exterior changes, but what is underneath the real you is not really changing. Effort Christianity. The second way that we change, uh, we're going to call it, we're going to put it like this. We're going to say exposure Christianity. Not being changed by our efforts, but being changed by our exposure Effort Christianity is like where the Israel was in the Old Testament many times. They had all these laws, 600 more commandments that they had to follow. And they were trying to intensely follow them all the time. They thought through their efforts, they would get to be who God had called them to be. Effort Christianity is like the Pharisees who worked very, very hard at following God, right? Like they knew all the laws. They knew this book so well and they like kept all the rules, but they had untransformed rocky hearts. But in the fullness of time, God sent his son, Jesus, so that we could cease our efforts, so we could cease from striving, and so that we could be exposed to the true source of change. Jesus is like the sunshine. Jesus is like the sun, and when you stand in front of the sun, you can't help but being changed. Like, if you stay out all day on a sunny day, you will automatically change, like, who you are, like, darker shades, you change. It says this in the Word of God, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says this, But we all, with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image as we behold Jesus, as we see who God truly is, the veils removed, <laughs> the, 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 the prejudices, the man-made expectations, the false views all gone. And when we truly see the Lord, we are changed just by being exposed to who he is. You see this in the Bible with a number of characters. Remember the disciple Thomas, Thomas didn't believe that Jesus was raised from the dead. In John chapter 20, the other disciples saw him. Jesus came to the room, but Thomas wasn't there. And Thomas had a hard, cold heart. But when Jesus appeared before Thomas, and Thomas saw Jesus in his resurrected glory, boom, Thomas believed and his heart was changed. 
Brothers and sisters, if you are living a Christianity, seeking a change based on effort, you are living a religion. Something that men have striven and grinded over for thousands of years, but has not changed the heart of one human being. But if you are seeking more of Jesus, and if you just want to be present with him, and you know that he is not only the example, but the source of change, then you have a relationship. It's not about activity, it's about intimacy. It's not about working hard, but it's about being with Jesus. Truly with Jesus. I know for myself, I tried so hard to be like Jesus and to be this good person and to be mature and to be secure. And it didn't happen. Only until I was really sitting with Jesus, only then did I really begin to see true change. Only when I dwell deeply in the spirit, only when I lay before Jesus and I hear him speak and I stand in his presence, then am I truly changed. Missionary Heidi Baker said that she worked tirelessly, striving for like 20 years, like 12 hour days, 15 hour days. She would just work and work and work. And she said, after 20 years, my husband and I had two wobbly churches. She's like, we played at these churches and they weren't even healthy. And she left the mission field and she went on a short trip to a spirit-filled church and she experienced God like she never experienced before. She really saw Jesus. And after that, she started to focus on intimacy, on exposure, on just going deep with the Lord every day, on just making sure she got that connection with Jesus. And she changed and her ministry changed and it blew up and God blessed them incredibly. And she became like Jesus in a way that she had never been. Brother and sister, we cannot become like Christ through our effort. Then Jesus would not have come. But we become like Jesus through Jesus. He's not just an example. He is a source. He is the substance of change. He is change and transformation itself. So where are you? Are you in effort or are you in exposure? Are you trying? Are you striving? Are you working? Or are you learning to be truly present with the transforming one, Jesus Christ. Maybe you need a little less effort and a little more Jesus. Stop working, stop trying to make it happen and get deep and get real and be exposed to the Son, Jesus Christ.